Hi, it's a Math Thinking Thursday. Of course, we're gonna start off with using the hundreds chart to see those patterns. I cannot express to you how important it is to have a hundreds chart around. Even if you have one at school, maybe you can ask your teacher to print out a copy for you and it's a piece of paper like this, but a lot bigger and you can put it up on your wall and just look at those patterns every which direction. When you go backwards, forwards, look at all those patterns. We're gonna use those patterns today to help us. And then down at the bottom, which is gonna make us think today, we have Rylan that says that when she takes 30 from 87, she would get 117. So we wanna find out if she's correct and how we can show her work over here, how she should have done it, okay? So here, the number we are gonna to highlight today is going to be 87. So I'm gonna find 87, find you, there you are. And we are gonna do 10 less, 20 less, and 30 less. We have been doing this the last two weeks, so I am not going to go as slowly as I have before, but you can see, I'm gonna still use this hundreds chart to help us. So we know we're going to go up because we're subtracting 10, two, 10 less, 77, 20 less, 67, 30 less, 10, 20, 30, 57. Notice it's just our tens place that changed each time because it just had a 10 that I was subtracting. Excellent work, I know you got that. We've been working on it the last two weeks, so I know you've got that. Here we have Rylan that says when she takes 30 from 87, she would get 117. So let's just think about if that is reasonable. So 87 is what she's starting with. And she wants to take 30 from, which means she's doing what? Would she be adding or subtracting? She's subtracting, right? So think about someone who has 87 buttons and someone wants to take 30 buttons from that collection. We're not adding them, we're subtracting them. So the number should be smaller than 87. If we look at this number, this number is a lot larger than 87. So let's see how we can show subtracting 30. So remember how we can draw out 87? We could go like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know from the last couple of weeks, they show 10 and ones. Now, if we wanna take 30 away, I would so focus right here on my tens. 10, 20, 30. How many do I have left here? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I have 50. And did I do anything with my ones? Because it said she only took away 30. And I did 10, 20, 30. So I just leave the seven. So is she correct? Rylan is not correct. Let's think about some things that we discussed. Her answer will be less than 87. So 
117 is not reasonable. Eighty seven minus thirty equals fifty seven. So it says, How can you show the answer with drawings and words? Here I have the drawings, and over here I have the words. This word reasonable is going to come up a lot in second grade third grade, definitely fourth grade and fifth grade. So you want to be able to talk to your teachers, talk to your parents, maybe even your classmates about if an answer is reasonable. If you're in a group working with a partner and their answer doesn't seem reasonable, you want to be able to say why it's not. So here we knew her answer had to be less than 87. And 117 is over 87. So that was not reasonable. Make sure you put that in your work in school. I bet your teacher would be super impressed. All right. We had a Math Thinking Thursday. And I can't wait for Math Fun Friday tomorrow. See ya. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me, I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.